I get this a lot. And I, I'm, I, I'm curious if you do too. And this is like comments. These are comments and like, you know, stupid stuff on social media. Oh, so let me, because I'll post my story or I'll do a video where, you know, explain like, you know, what I, you know, how I grew up, you know, my military career, post that, you know, and then kind of the fall of myself uh, and then kind of the rise back. And then a lot of people just go, so let me get this straight. You were, you got a little fat, you got a little chubby and you lost weight and now you're successful because of that. So all I have to do is go to the gym and then all of a sudden I become successful. Do you ever hear that? I, I yes, I, I do get that from time to time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. can you paint, can you paint me a correlation between being physically fit and, and, and successful? Is there, is there a correlation? Why is, why is it that, or is it, is there a correlation? There's a hundred percent of correlation. Absolutely. What, you know, the explain to me, it, explain to the listeners why. So it's not coming from uncle Nick and I'm not yelling. <laughs> the the correlation is simple the 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 process of of going you know in my case from you know almost 260 pounds to you know right now i'm at one 190 um Ooh. and in get, being at the old yeah being the oldest i've ever been in my life uh being the fittest i've ever and, been and how and how old are you 41 41 yep. okay 41 yeah um being you know having um you know the, the most amount of money, um, you know, ever, I, you know, I've on the coaching side, you know, I do very well there. That's, that's, um, one of, uh, several, um, um, revenue streams that I have. I'm the executive mm -hmm. vice president of a global software company, um, investing in a really cool, um, um, fishing lure company out of Hawaii right now. I've got the coaching thing and, uh, obviously a co-founder of the project and Squire. None of that shit would be possible if, if I didn't have the um, the discipline to to choose the the hard thing over the easy thing, and it really just it's it's a it's a very simple thing. It's just not easy, um, mm -hmm. and it's not easy because because the the human body wants to take the easy route. It wants to go back to bed. It wants to skip that workout. It wants to push right. the project. But the correlation between the getting fit. And um, and the success and the bank accounts and the relationships is is not making excuses. It's it's knowing it's knowing what the success habits are, knowing that that I don't have to recreate the wheel. I can look around and I can say, what are right. other people who are representing the kind of life that I want for myself and my family? What are they doing, right? And you you start to look at success habits, and when it comes to um, the, the, the fitness part of it is when you are making the decisions to get the workouts in, when you're making the decisions to, 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 to eat right. And you're putting the kind of food in your body that your body actually wants and needs, not the shit that it doesn't. And, um, and you are experiencing the benefits of, of sh getting shred, uh, shredded. Not only do you start to feel better inside because your body is actually operating at a more optimal level because of the nutrition, because of the the weight resistance, because the dopamine that that um, you experience, because of of actually liking what you see in the mirror, you have this mm -hmm. in total this total mental shift and this total um, uh, belief system about how you can start to really control your, your, your outcomes, right? Nobody can ever argue with results and outcomes. They just are what they are. Whatever we produce right. is what we produce. Mm -hmm. And so the, when it comes to being in shape, it is a byproduct of staying disciplined and consistent over time. And anything that we do in life where we are disciplined and consistent over time, we, we will see positive outcomes and results. And so when I'm disciplined and consistent in my business, in, in my relationships, in my, uh, you know, the, the date uh, night with my wife every single week, with my, um, you know, training jujitsu with my wife and son, with, with all of it, the outcomes and results continue to be positive. And so, you know, we, there's two things, Nick, that we all control, and that's our attitude and our effort, right? And nobody can ever take those things away from us. And when we apply those mm -hmm. two things to to um, to to elements that create um, uh, momentum in the right direction, we become this unstoppable force. We 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 right. we cannot be stopped, and we will we will 
we will overcome um, anything. We will go, we will go over the mountain. We'll go through the mountain. We'll go underneath the mountain. We'll, but we will not be stopped. We will not accept failure. And we start to be able to ride this momentum and just continue to build off of it. So it's, it's, it's an evolution that does not happen overnight. Um, it, it takes a long time of doing, of doing the right thing that, that builds us up to that place. And then once you capture momentum and it's that flywheel starts to spin, you do not want to lose it. You start to see w what you've been able to create and um, it becomes this thing that you, you just continue to feed the beast and you just yeah. keep, you just keep going. But it's, it's funny you say that because it is, and the rea the reality of it is it is boring and slow and monotonous and it's just totally. the work. It's the slow, you know, but the reason why that, you know, I stand by it and the, you know, the very first pillar of, of the agogi is fitness because it needs a foundation to sit on. We need a foundation to sit on. And I believe for men, fitness is that foundation because like we talk about in the Squire program, if if these young men get jacked and ripped as a young man, what mm -hmm. is that telling me? They're disciplined and consistent. And mm -hmm. if I can get somebody who's disciplined and consistent, well, that means they can be disciplined and consistent in all areas of their life. Right. Yeah. And that's, yeah. And that's really what it comes down to. <laughs> Oh,